Today, proponents of marijuana pushed for its legalization in Wisconsin. People from multiple advocacy groups spoke today at the Capitol with Democratic State Senator Melissa Agard there in support. NBC 15's Shana Nijawan went to the conference today, and Shana, the group sponsoring the meeting, believes the prohibition of marijuana actually does more harm than good. Elizabeth, all of the speakers at the gathering referenced recent polling showing more than two-thirds of Wisconsinites support legalizing the substance. Others mentioned the potential for increased tax revenues with its legalization and the possibility to combat the ongoing opioid epidemic. Former addict and statewide director of ex-incarcerated people organizing Tamara Oman says people are still finding ways to smoke marijuana and legalizing it would only make the options out there more safe. Hundreds and thousands of amazing people losing their lives to the opiate struggle and mental health addiction or mental health struggles. I believe deeply in harm reduction. With regulation, we would be able to reduce the harm caused by non-regulated use of marijuana that has been known to contain other substances like fentanyl when buying it illegally. Agard ended the meeting by highlighting racial disparities. She says black people are four times more likely to be charged with a cannabis offense compared to their white counterparts, despite similar usage rates. Live in the studio, Shana Najawan, NBC 15 News. And meanwhile, state Republicans are trying to gain support for medical marijuana legalization in Wisconsin. Today, Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss announced his plan to build support for a medical cannabis program that could win bipartisan backing. Voss told the Associated Press he hopes to introduce the plan sometime this fall. The push comes after many years of Republicans opposing any form of marijuana legalization.